It's Shake, Rattle, and Roll Week. Rock around the clock with early edition CBS Saturday. I hate frying up the bacon, but I love taking it home because I'm your loving man. Lisa, it, it's... Tom? No, nothing's happened with Tom. Tom's in the hospital, in intensive care. What happened? There's been an accident. A serious accident. Oh, my God. I just don't understand. How did this happen? So far, we only have Eddie Silver's version, which is sketchy at best, and it makes Alec Wallace out to be a hero. Wallace, some hero. An unlikely story. I assume you agree with me. Well, I'll know what to believe when Tom wakes up and gives us his side of the story. What happened? What happened to Tom? Is he okay? Everything that they can, Em. Where is he? He's well, in ICU. Hey, I, I need to see him. No, 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 wait a minute. You can't do that. What do you mean? He I can't. Trust Margo I... is in there with him. Mark, I need to be there. He needs Margo to be with still me. Margo his wife, Emily. In him only. She doesn't give a damn about him anymore. Yes, absolutely she hasn't for ages, all right? And now I have proof. Anything else, Dr. Harris? Now that we've got him on the ventilator, check his vitals. I know it doesn't look pretty, but right now those machines and those tubes are Tom's best hope. Has anything changed? Anything at all? Uh, not yet, but we've got his temperature up, so maybe we can get him stabilized. And then what? We, we, we wait? We just wait? Just tell me again that he could be okay. He could be. But then again, he could die. Or maybe he just sustained permanent brain damage. It's possible. But then again, maybe he'll come out and he'll be fine. Just when are we gonna know something? Not until he wakes up. Look, the best thing that you can do for him. Is... Don't tell me to go home. Don't tell me to do that, because I'm not gonna leave if my husband. Laying your time. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay here as long as it Margo, takes. Margo, Margo, what I was gonna say is the best thing that you can do for him is to be here for him. Okay. Now, even comatose patients seem to do better when they're surrounded by people who love them. So you stay as long as you want. All right, now, Mary. Make sure that antibiotic I ordered is administered immediately, okay? Be back soon. You'll be okay? Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Hi. Tom, it's me. Oh, man, I hope Ben's right. I hope that you can hear me. I, I'm sorry I had to leave before because they were switching your rooms, but I'm here now, and I'm going to stay, and I'm not going to go anywhere. Buzz, if you need me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Tom, we've both made so many mistakes, but I, I need you. I still need you so much. Please stay with me. Oh, my God, how did this happen? You know, Eddie said it was just, it was an accident. 
but Hal thinks differently. Hal thinks that it was Alec. Did, did he do this, Tom? Did Alec try to kill you? You want to ask me that question? Everything all right? Yeah, sure. So, do you want to ask me that question or not? No, not in front of Tom. Can you? Pardon me. No, uh, my main concern right now is Tom's condition. Of course. Argo was a terrible accident, but it was an accident. I hope you believe that. Just tell me what happened at the lake. Margo, I didn't want to hurt Tom. But he didn't drive up to that lake just to find Casey. He came up there to get me. What are you talking about? He threatened me, Margo. I tried to get him to calm down, but he was over the top. He was out of control. Well, Tom's got a terrible temper, but that doesn't sound like him. I'm telling you. If Tom had his way, it would be me lying in that bed right now. Margot, you may not want to believe this, but your husband wanted me dead. As the World Turns is brought to you today by Loves Diapers and Wipes, both at a great low price. Live and learn, and then get loves. In the beginning, you read labels, look at ingredients, measure things precisely. And then you realize, this isn't chemistry class. Ah, this is life. Get on with it and get loves. They put lotion with aloe in every diaper, like the more expensive brands. And they still have that ultra leak guard thing. Lotion with aloe, great on leaks. Life is easy, right? Oh, look. We're back to measuring things. Hey, live and learn. And then get loves. What's tough? Your third grade teacher. A surprise visit. Your daughter's true love. Those greasy dishes? They're not as tough as New Joy Plus, the toughest joy ever. It's a rich green liquid gel formula so powerful and long lasting, just a little cuts through your toughest stuck on grease. So you use less than ever. So what's really tough? New Joy Plus, now tough enough for your worst sink full. Mom's always saying use your imagination. Be inventive, so let's go. We've blended Jif to make chocolate silk, apple cinnamon, and berry blend. How about I'm pretzel sticks? Bingo chips. Look at all this fruit. Check this out. Oh, yeah. They'll take it from there. What you got, Kenneth? Jam, cracker, berry, blend, banana, chip sandwich, and a heart. Oh, hi, Mrs. Lando. Jif's smooth sensations. Whatever they're with, they're sensational. Mom, we got to get this out. Now our first denture cleanser keeps dentures feeling clean all day. New Fix-It and with ProGuard, a breakthrough tablet and bath system. First, place your dentures into the bath and release the power of ProGuard to get them four times cleaner. Then you lift the inner basket to help seal in the clean with the ProGuard barrier, protecting against plaque and odor-causing bacteria from morning till night. Fix-It and with ProGuard. Start cleaner, stay cleaner. Hello? Oh, well. Another day, another ulcer.
Well, Miss Tenning, looks like you're the only guest at Al's Great Hotel. Get your pick of the rooms. Oh, a deluxe suite. Well, the bed is a bit firm, but um, the linens, linens are quite charming. And yet, there's something missing. Oh, my Parker. Don't worry about Mommy, okay? Mommy can survive this. Mommy can survive anything. cares one bit about the obsession you have for Tom or the evidence you supposedly have to support it, get a grip, Emily. The man you care so much about, supposedly cares so much about, is in there, comatose, fighting for his life. In other words, Emily, back off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't mean to make such a scene. I, it's just I heard the news about Tom and... I, I sort of flipped. I'm, I'm just really worried about Tom. Yes, well, so are we all. You know, Emily, I was just about to get a cup of coffee. Why don't you come with me? No, no, no. Jack, I need to be with you. Well, be it with could Tom. take some time, so if I were you, I would get that cup of coffee. Maybe a donut, too. Stop treating me like a stalker, all right? I deserve to be with Tom as much as anybody else here. He's devoted to Daniel and me. And you, you have no right keeping me away from him. No, I don't have a right to keep you away from him. But you're not going to help him by running around here like, acting like a spoiled child. Well, gee, I'm real sorry I don't act as appropriately to trauma Kiddo, as you do, Kim. This is not about you. This is not about you making his tragedy your own personal melodrama. This is about a good man fighting for his life. It's mine. Excuse me. Jack Snyder. Really? Where? No, I'm, I'm at the hospital now. No, I'm nearby. I'll go check out the burglary myself. No problem at all. And I heard that, that Casey got home safe and sound, so it was just much ado about nothing. Well, it didn't stop Tom from confronting Wallace. And things got out of hand. They fought. Well, uh, Wallace claims that it was an accident. Whatever happened, Tom got badly hurt. How bad? When the paramedics got there, he hadn't regained consciousness, and he still hasn't. It's very serious, Lisa. Why are you here? Well, Tom is stable now, and I... I didn't want to call you. I didn't want you to hear it from the police, so I came right over. Thank you. How soon can you be ready to go? Just a, a, a minute, a couple of minutes, that's all. He's our boy. Our son. He's going to need his mom and dad more than ever. Oh. Margot, I was relaxing by the lake, getting ready to pack it in. I already sent Casey back to Oakdale when all of a sudden, out of the blue, I saw Tom coming at me on the pier. He was screaming at me about Casey. Accusing me of trying to hurt his son, saying that I was going to pay for it. What did you do? I told him I wouldn't hurt Casey. But he didn't believe you, did he? <laughs> of course not. He didn't believe me. He wouldn't even listen to me. I tried to explain to him what your arrest had done to Casey, how I wanted to take him out of town for a couple hours, just get him away, clear his mind. Marco, he was too far gone to even hear me. Did you tell him? Did you tell him that you'd sent Casey home? He was already on his way. I told him ten times at least. He wasn't listening. He didn't hear me. He just kept coming at me. Called me a liar and worse. Margot, he started pushing me. He got me near the end of the dock, and then he threw a punch. 
Did you hit back? Of course not. I tried to hold him off. I, I figured I'd let him get it out of his system. But Margot, he grabbed me by the throat. It was like he was trying to kill me. Well, you gave him good cause. You took our son without telling anyone. Margot, come on. I took your son fishing. That's all. But you know how Tom hates you. You know how he would have reacted to that. So what? You're blaming me for this? You think I wanted this to happen? It's just if you hadn't taken Casey without telling anyone, then Tom wouldn't have gone after you, and he wouldn't be here now in a coma. Margot, this isn't about Casey. It's about me. And how much Tom hates my guts. I knew it. I knew what he would do. So? It's just... Before Casey got home, when I called you from the jail, Tom was there. And I... I told him that... that you were at the cabin. It's one thing to blame me, but I don't want you blaming yourself. You are in no way responsible. This was a, a misunderstanding. It was an accident. Tom, Tom came at me. I tried to defend myself. He stumbled, he fell. He hit his hair, head going into the pier. Marco, you asked me to tell you the truth. And I just told it to you. My question is, do you believe me? What is desire? Desire, for me, it's one man. The one who loved me before I was Heidi. <laughs> desire is the new shape of sexy. Desire is love. Desire only at Victoria's Secret. Once they become teenagers, boy, do their tastes change. And they're always hungry. Sure glad I found this. Chef Boyardee overstuffed ravioli. Huge ravioli overflowing with beef. Overstuffed beef ravioli from Chef Boyardee. You're about to see a toothbrush do something rather unusual. Introducing the Colgate Navigator. It bends wide open, so its bristles gently adjust to your teeth for a thorough clean. The new Colgate Navigator, bent on cleaning better. So where is it decided how $185 billion of federal funds will be spent each year? Actually, it's decided right here. Fill out your census. It helps determine how federal funds get spent. This is your future. Don't leave it blank. A psychic experiment goes wrong. A man is dead. Is the victim reaching out from the grave? I have had visions that I can't explain. All new Jack, CBS Tonight. Margot. I'm in bad shape, and I... I couldn't be more sorry. But a lot of people are going to want to pin this on me. And now more than ever, I need to know where you stand. Because if after everything we've been through, if you still don't trust me, then maybe it's time to call it quits. I trust you, Alec. And I told you the truth, every single word. It's just that Tom kept pushing me. He kept saying that all the problems in our marriage were because of you, and then he started getting close to Casey, and he thought that you had kidnapped Casey, and he just couldn't bear the thought of his son being taken away like that, and so he snapped, and I should have stopped him from going after you. You couldn't have stopped him. Well, if only he had waited till Casey came home. What? 
and found out what a great time Casey had with me? No, Marty, you're right. You're right. The pressure's been building. Look. We'll get through this. We'll deal with it. I hope so. We will. We will. Oh, I'm so sorry all this happened. You've been through so much lately. I only made it worse by putting you in the middle. No, no, Alec. You were the one who was put in the middle. It's okay. I'll deal with it. Come on, let's uh, we'll take you to get something to eat. You can just break. Uh-uh. I want to stay here, be in there when he wakes up. If he wants to see me when he wakes up. Okay. Fine. But I'll stick around here for a while in case you need me. Oh, yeah. You know, Margot, I hope you know your trust means everything to me. Everything. I get. It's just that I, I have so many questions and the answers are so important. So I hope that you understand that I've got to leave you again, honey. But just for a little while. Because I gotta find out what happened at the lake. And I know where I can get the answers. I want to help you, Hal, but I honestly don't know much at this point. You're saying you have no idea how Tom got that head injury? <laughs> Maybe he slammed it into a piling when he fell off the dock. And that would be enough to cause a coma? Well, given sufficient force, it could have killed him. It's like any severe blow to the head. Yeah, blow to the head would do it. What are you getting at, Hal? Huh? Wallace claims that Tom fell off the dock by accident. So, Ben, how does a two-foot fall into a lake result in a major trauma? I guess it depends on the way he fell. Yeah, or how hard his head was bashed. You talking about Tom's condition? Tell me the truth. I, I need to know. Uh, Tom is still in a coma. Right, but but you're letting people you're letting people want to see him, Honey, right? We've been through. All I just don't of this. understand why Margot's the only one allowed in there. That's no, all. Emily, you're right. You know there are other people besides Margot who love Tom and should be with him now. <sighs> Somebody who understands what I'm saying. Miss Lisa, Bob, you can go in now. Are you sure? Are you sure it's? Are you sure it's all right? Look, positive. Nothing could be better for Tom right now than to be close to his mother and father. I mean, just hearing your voices will do him good. You mean he, he's he's able to hear us? Yeah. Well, there's always that hope. Are you ready? Lisa, I'm so glad you're here. Where else do you think I would be? We have to let Tom know that we're rooting for him. That's why it's so wonderful to see the two of you. It's going to mean a lot to Tom. Ben said that Tom can hear us. I'm not so sure I got through to him, but if anyone can, you two can. What's it going to take, Margo? No, hell. Then when? When are you going to wake up to the fact that Wallace is bad news? This is the second time it's happened to somebody close to you. First Eddie, now Tom. Alex said it was an accident. And you're going to take his word for it? There's a witness. Where the hell are you going? Please! 
Anybody in here? This winter, try something new. Stay healthy. Introducing new Hall's Defense. Each drop has 100% of the vitamin C you need every day. Get new Hall's Defense and get going. Yes, I'm very, very nervous. I'm hoping it's positive and it's just clear enough for us to read. <laughs> it's yes. <laughs> oh. oh, this is so clear. <laughs> now we have to get a bigger place. <laughs> it's Elmo's world. Let's play. Hmm, I think I'm going to make an orange pig. Inspire the creativity in your child. Oops. I mean blue. With Create and Draw on Elmo's World CD-ROM. I can make the cow run away from the pig. <laughs> now I need a train. Mom, watch this! Now even the silliest of squiggles magically comes to life. <laughs> create and Draw on Elmo's World. And look for these other Sesame Street CD-ROMs. <laughs> Get Montana from Pontiac with not one but two sliding doors. Something handy for whoever's passing through. Life is more exciting in Montana. Did you remember the milk? Let's go, girls. Revlon Every Lash Mascara. Makes lashes their fullest, beautifully defined. Plus, comb separates every lash. Goodbye, clumps. I feel like a woman. Now, during Sears Portrait Studio's holiday sale, portraits are only $6.95 a sheet. Plus, get this portrait ornament free. Holiday portraits, only $6.95. Hurry in to Sears. Tonight on 60 Minutes 2, if they've invented a safer gun, one so smart it can only be fired by its owner, then why can't you buy it? Find out tonight at 9, 8 central. Did you hear? Gumbel & Company's Reliable Breakfast Formula. Three stars. The early show tomorrow. You're in Chicago to meet your idol. Now you've got to give him the bad news. What? You got trades with Milwaukee Brewers. Sammy Sosa hits a home run on an all-new kid say. Then, a hotel parking lot becomes a hotel room. What? When Candid Camera checks in. The car was here. I think they better give you an extra night free. It's all new CBS Friday. Look. I'm going to give you to the count of three to come out. Come on. There's no reason for anyone to get hurt here. One, two, what the? Jack. Carly? <clears throat> I surrender. What the hell are you doing here in the middle of the night? What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Al reported a break and he thought someone was robbing the place. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't robbing anybody. Then what's the deal? <sighs> Actually, I am. Uh... You what? I was trying to impress Al. You know how badly I need this job, and I know that Al certainly does not think very highly of me at all. Well, his opinion of you is just going to skyrocket when he finds out you're the one who broke in. You don't understand. No, Carly, I don't. Why don't you clue me in? You know how I've been, I've been working the morning shift, right? Yeah. Well, all the other girls, they just seem to, to waltz in whenever they feel like it, and that really drives Al crazy. So, so I decided that I would come into the crack of dawn every day, and I, I really think that Al is starting to notice, you know? <clears throat> I, uh, all right, forget it. Here is the, the pathetic truth. You know, that lovely nine-star motel that, that I called home. Uh-huh. Well, tomorrow morning, it's, it's going to be demolished. And so Carly Tenney, fashion mogul turned heiress turned waitress, is homeless yet again. So you just, what, camping out here on a booth? Look, if Al found you, you'd be out of a job, And too. that would really be a damn shame, wouldn't it? Because this job, this lousy job, is the only thing I have left in the entire world. Carly. It's, just, it's fine. I'll find another place to stay.
Miles Parker. You know, on this one night, I am so glad he was with Hal. I could never... I could never put my Parker through this. It's not true, you know. What? That this job is the only thing you have. It's not true. Not by a long shot. Now, ben, why don't you check on Tom, and then we'll be right behind you. Take your time. You okay? <sighs> Just, I need a minute. <laughs> Just a minute to uh, make sure that I'm ready. Come on, you're one of the strongest women I know. You're fearless. <laughs> I have to be, for Tom's sake. It's all right, sweetheart. Don't you be afraid. Mom and Dad are right here now. Hey, Eddie. How are you doing? Oh, I feel like an escaped convict who got bagged up and taken back to the pen. Oh, well, they'll let you out of here soon. Oh, how's Tom? Is he all right? Oh, you don't know? No, nobody told me anything. No what? Um, Tom's in a coma, and they don't know when he's gonna come out of it, or what kind of shape he's gonna be in, if he does. I can't believe this. Now, how come nobody told me? Uh, probably because there's an investigation going on as to what happened up at the lake. Well, I told the cops everything that I knew, Margo. Yeah, yeah, Hal told me that he talked to you. I, I hear you're a real hero. Well, you heard wrong. Alec is the one who saved Tom. It wasn't just Alec. You were there. All I did was pull Tom out of the water and onto the dock. Um, yeah, but before that, um, did you see how the fight started? No. Nah, they were already going when I got there. How do you know that? Because I heard them when I got out of my car. And when, what happened then when you, when you got to the... I, I don't know, Margo. It all just happened. Just try to remember. Try to remember exactly what happened between Alec and Tom. I need to know what happened. These colors, they're dull, they're stained. They're perfect. What? For new dry Ultra Clorox, too. Who? Me. I get rid of tough stains and make colors bright. Even these colors? Introducing new Dry Ultra Clorox 2. It does what Clorox bleach does on whites, but it's buffered to do it safely on colors. Look at these colors. They're bold, they're bright, they're perfect. Down, girl. New Dry Ultra Clorox 2 Color Safe Bleach. The Clorox bleach for colors. The exciting thing about this ride isn't the 90-foot drop. It's the woman in the front seat. She's got asthma, but she's got help. Help control your asthma with Singulair. It's a single tablet daily that's not a steroid. It's also available for children six and older. Ask your doctor about adding once a day Singulair and help control your asthma. Singulair should not be used to treat acute asthma attacks. Continue taking your other asthma medicines unless your doctor tells you to stop or change the dose. If symptoms get worse, contact your doctor at once. Side effects are generally mild and may include headache, flu, and stomach pain. Read the consumer information your doctor or pharmacist can provide. Help control your asthma with Singulair. Here I go again! Oh! Dear conscientious consumer, I'm Kleenex Cottonelle toilet paper, and I can see you're serious about clean. Clean hair, clean face, clean teeth. Hmm, missing something? Not while I'm around. 
by cushy ripples especially designed for clean with a soft to the touch surface that will leave you feeling fresh and dry no ifs ands or buts about it kleenex cottonelle when you think of clean think of me my feet are killing me you need new podiasin soak and massage gel only podiasin dissolves in water for instant pain relief then rubs into open pores for deep lasting relief the pain is gone new podiasin soak and massage gel I was standing there with this uh, woman, you know, she was really squeezing my hand really tight, she had on the glasses, and we were rocking, and then she turned around after we finished, and she was uh, crying, she was, you know, and it, was, it really touched me right there, I mean, I was pretty, I was like, you know, that made it worthwhile for me coming out here, it really did. Ever since the Price is Right moved to afternoons, seismologists have reported a dramatic increase in activity from 3 to 4 p.m. So come on down. The Price is Right, weekdays at 3, followed by Women to Women on CBS 2. Uh, what's the result? Hang on, baby. I called Western Dental. They're nearby, and they can see you today. What's the result? At Western Dental, we've been treating tooth problems for over 50 years and helping you avoid them through regular checkups. Great dentists, affordable prices. What a relief. Call 1-800-757-6818. Smile. What a baby. You've got Western Dental. This weekend, Repo Ranch in Buena Park presents the biggest single event of its kind. It's Repo-thon. 48 hours of fast and furious selling. Two days only, this Saturday and Sunday. Choose from hundreds of vehicles slash thousands of dollars. Twelve major lenders all under one roof bidding desperately for your business. Cars starting at just $49. Trucks for as little as $549. A recent record number of loans means more repos. We're overstocked like never before. The bank's loss is your game. It's Repo-thon this weekend only. Repo Ranch in Buena Park near Knott's Berry Farm. Women to Women, weekdays at 4, only on CBS 2. For television's most inspirational drama, the address is CBS. Yeah, tell Al his brand muffins are safe. The burglar wasn't a burglar at all, just, uh, just an employee who left a purse here and came back to get it. Right. No, no, don't tell Al to come down. I'll, uh, I'll lock up. I got his keys. See ya. Who to found it? Found what? I thought you'd be lying for me. I thought you turned over a new leaf, Jack Snyder. Well, it, it was a little white lie, but you are an employee here. The first thing is very good, very believable. But you know what? I'm allowed. I'm not the one who's got a bet writing on being honest. A bet which I haven't lost. I haven't. <laughs> now, you, all you did was ask me what I was doing here. Yeah, you said you've been coming in early. Which is the truth. Technically. Technically works for me. You know, you have a real knack for evasion and nitpicking. You make an excellent lawyer. You realize that? Well, I'm perfectly happy being a homeless waitress. Why spoil a good thing? <laughs> mm. oh, you're smart, you know that? You, you could be anything you want to be. What, what I want to be right now is sleep. In a real bed, in a real house. But since we're here, we might as well make the best of it. Meaning what? Meaning that I've learned how to make a killer omelet. What do you say? You hungry? You know? I got a better idea. <laughs> Open up. Sweet. Very. I was talking about you. Now, Tom, you're going to fight this thing. And you're going to win. You've always had a knack of beating the odds, son. And you're going to beat this, too. You know something? I was so amazed just about a year ago when, uh, when you changed careers. And you quit law and you went to journalism. My tongue, you are the best reporter I have. And I need you back at the Argus. Because we have to argue again over headlines and, um, and, and nitpick over all of those little details that nobody else just gives a hoot about. We know you can hear us, son.
Now, Tom, you have some precious kids who love you, and they need you very much. And you have a family and friends. Everyone loves you, Tom. Your mom and your dad love you, and uh, please come back to us, Tom. Please. Listen, Margo, I told you, okay? I gave my statement to the cops already. I told Hal everything that I knew. I'm not talking to you as a cop. I'm talking to you as a friend. As a friend or as a cop, the story is the same. Margo, listen, th th there must have been some kind of struggle before I got there, and then Tom fell into the water, and that's all I know. All right, so there must have been. So you, you didn't actually see them fighting. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, Margo, it's, it's hard to remember on the Please, it's really important. What's it going to change, Margo? What difference is it going to make? Is it, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to change what happened with Tom, and it's definitely not going to take him out of his coma. It's going to change everything, their entire lives, both Alec and Tom. Now listen to me, you were the only one there. If you could just paint a clear picture for me, then maybe I can do something to make it right. I don't know, it's... It's so hard to remember, you know what, it all happened, it... it... All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this one step at a time, okay? You drove up to the lake, you got out of the car, you made your way through the woods. Now, was it, was it dark out? It was getting there. Yeah? Sunset. It was kind of misty. Okay. So you made your way through the woods? Yeah, I, I heard them. I heard them arguing. It was loud. So they were arguing loudly, yes? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Loudly enough for you to make out anything that they said? No, not, not, not words exactly. But I could tell definitely that they were very upset. Well, who was it? Who, who swung first? First, Margaret, I told you, I couldn't see them for where oh I Oh, my God, I'm my sorry. Car. You're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot that there are all these woods there before you get to the lake. All right, I'm in the middle of the trees, right? And, and I remember when the yelling stopped, because because it was strange, you know? It, it was it was so sudden. It really freaked me out. What did you do? I ran as fast as I could. I ran right down there. And when you got down to the pier, did you see Alec and Tom still standing there? Had they fallen into the water? It was just Alec. Just Alec. What was he doing? Standing there. Just looking down. Did he see you? Well, he must have, man. I mean, I came charging right at him, you know? And then he jumped into the water. Okay, now, Eddie, let me just get this straight. It wasn't until Alex saw you he jumped into the water. Right. Margo, what are you thinking? There's only one person who can corroborate Alec's story. That's Tom. The invincible no-wax floor versus <laughs> one persistent child. Over time, it gets scratched and scuffed. That's why even no wax floors need more than cleaning and shining. They need protecting. They need Mop and Glow Triple Action. In one quick and easy step, it not only cleans and shines, it protects. Mop and Glow Triple Action keeps beautiful floors going strong. Your baby's life is full of milestones. But I've learned starting table food too soon shouldn't be one of them. Research shows that easy-to-eat adult foods may not provide all the nutrition they need. Many are not as good as these baby foods in providing valuable minerals like iron. So necessary right now for developing healthy blood. Don't let a milestone become a mistake by starting adult foods too early. Besides, don't they grow up too fast anyway? <laughs> I'm serious when it comes to wrinkles. So I use New Line Eraser from L'Oreal Paris. The most serious anti-wrinkle action you may ever take. 
Yet so gentle, you can use it every night. With retinol, the purest form of vitamin A. To help erase the look of first lines, fine lines, even those lines we've learned to live with. Objective measurements show results in just four weeks. And that's enough, even for skeptics like me. So use it nightly and lose the lines. New line eraser with pure retinol from L'Oreal Paris. Because I'm worth it. They say if you get the flu, take plenty of fluid. But we think you'll feel much better taking them with a pouch of new Honey Flu, the first effective flu medicine made with real honey in a convenient, ready-to-pour pouch. New Honey Flu, a natural choice for the flu mm. from Robitussin. Menopause affects you in more ways than one. That's why new Caltrate Plus Soy does more. It has soy isoflavones to help ease the effects of menopause and the calcium you need to help fight menopausal bone loss. New Caltrate Plus Soy, the Caltrate for menopause. You were great in that. And it just rambled. No, you spoke from the heart. And I know it helped, Tom. If, if you heard. If you heard. He heard. Here. Oh, thank you. You know, <clears throat> he's, he's a grown man. But he's... He's still my baby. I can't stand seeing him all hooked up with all that stuff and all the things making so much racket. I know. I know. Uh, do you remember... <laughs> I keep thinking. Remember when, when he was just a little tiny boy and you had his tonsils out? Do you remember mm -hmm. that? You were uh, weren't so fearless then. <laughs> he sat up in bed because he wanted his reward. He wanted us to know how brave he was. All the vanilla ice cream that he could eat. That vanilla ice cream always made him smile. I'd give anything in this world if I could just see him smiling. I would, too. I would, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, have you gone in yet? Yeah, we just did. How is he? Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna see for myself. Emily? I have every right to go in there. Just keep it short and stress-free. He can hear you. Remember that. But you let this happen. or ever will. And I'm gonna prove it to you when you come home. Come. Because me and Danny, we're, we're gonna be there waiting for you. We'll wait forever if we have to. We never walk out on you, Tom. Not like Margaret did. She doesn't deserve you. You know that. Margot wrote this. You've resurrected something I thought I'd lost, but it's all there. The heat, the tenderness, the closeness. You've given me so much. I can never repay you. I believe in you, Alec. And I love you. Well, now you know where Margot's devotion lies. pretty little head about me, Jack Snyder. <clears throat> Aren't you the one who just said that I was smart? And I'm sure by tomorrow morning I'll have all of this figured out and I'll be somewhere else. Yeah, maybe not as smart as I thought. Ouch. Why not? Because you didn't call me as soon as you got that eviction notice. I was dying to call you. What stopped you? A little voice in my head. Your voice, actually telling me that, that I have to learn to stand on my own. Carly, this was an emergency. When is it not an emergency with me, Jack? 
I always run to the same people for help and end up hurting them or letting them down, and... I'm through doing that, especially to you. But you don't have to go this far. I'll go as far as I have to in order to prove to you. No, to, to prove to myself. I can stand on my own two feet. You're already proving it. You're proving it plenty. Tylenol All House Call. Information for healthy living. Watching Wayne Gretzky, you'd never know the great one could have common arthritis. When my doctor told me that my aches and pains could be the early signs of arthritis, I was really surprised. It's not unusual. Millions of Americans under 50 have arthritis. Millions more are at risk. What should you look for? Risk factors include an active occupation, past injury, family history, age, and weight. Early signs of common arthritis include joint pain and stiffness. Well, what do you do for your arthritis pain? I take Tylenol. The first choice of doctors for arthritis pain is the medicine and Tylenol Arthritis Extended Relief. Tylenol works as well as the leading arthritis prescription, but it's much gentler on your stomach. So, Wayne, how does it feel to be retired? Pretty good. These days, it's fun to be knocked around. Could your pain and stiffness be the early signs of common arthritis? Talk to your doctor, like Wayne Gretzky did. Tylenol House Call is brought to you by Tylenol Arthritis. Day or night, irritating wetness can interrupt the best of dreams. So trust Desitin Ointment. Its hypoallergenic formula not only treats diaper rash, it soothes and protects too. Desitin, nothing treats your baby better. When you combine Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Crispy Wafers, the combination is irresistible. Reese Sticks, the crisp you can't resist. What's happened to the nightlife as we know it? New Sprint Nickel Nights, that's what. Now calling card calls are just five cents a minute, too. All night long. Five cents a minute at home and on the road. Wherever you are, you're free to talk the night away. And isn't that the point of contact? Move to Sprint Nickel Nights. Call 1-800-PIN-DROP. You lost track of time. You have a hot date? <laughs> no, I gotta call the station. There's a lot going down tonight. Excuse me. Yeah, hey, Jack Snyder. Anything new on the Wallace investigation? Mm, that's too bad. How about Tom Hughes? His condition changed? No good news for me, huh? All right, yeah, no, no, I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute. It's just, uh, I got caught up in some old, uh, old business. Right. I'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Listen, Carly. I'm... fuzzy as, as to what went on in the dock, but but I was in the water, okay? I was in there, and I saw Alec doing everything he could to save this guy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm telling you, Margo, he put his personal differences aside, and, and he did everything he could. What? You've really been a great help. You can get some rest now, okay? Okay. Margo? Um, could you keep me posted? About Tom? Thanks for caring. He's one of the good guys. Oh, yeah, he is. And as soon as he wakes up, we're gonna tell him that. Tom's had quite an evening. 
Hopefully some of his visitors got through to him. Your shift about done? Carol's taking over. Everything she needs to know is right here. Yeah. Walk you out. How do you think he's responding to that antibiotic? I'm a cop. I've got to be in good shape. And I've got to have a lot of energy. Working out is key. But what really helps me is SlimFest. I've been having a shake for lunch almost every day for the past nine years. It's quick, it's easy, it's satisfying. SlimFest is healthy for you. It gives me what I need. Vitamins, minerals, protein, carbs. It's great nutrition. I have more endurance during my workout, more stamina. It's my energy drink. It makes me feel great. I love it. SlimFest every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. It works for me. It can work for you. What's the question? Hi. Hi. Hey, what's with the makeup? She's got a date. It's not a date. It's just a group thing. Yeah, what time's this group thing over with? Um, 10.30. Whoa, try again. All right, 10 o'clock. Don't forget what we talked about, no? Drinking and no smoking. Right. And no kissing. <laughs> and no kissing. So here, I have to go. Bye, Daddy. Bye. Talk to your kids about not smoking. Hey, you want a cigarette? No, thanks. They'll listen. What were you talking about? Ask your dentist to recommend a toothpaste. Odds are it'll be Colgate Total. More dentists recommend Colgate Total than any leading toothpaste. So take your dentist's advice. Unless this is your idea of relaxing. Colgate Total. It's toothpaste, only better. Is your asthma really under control? Yeah. But sometimes I wheeze. Ever wake up short of breath? I do. Use your fast-acting inhaler more than twice a week. I use mine every day. If that's what you call control, ask your doctor if prescription Flovent is right for you. Flovent twice a day helps control the inflammation that can cause asthma symptoms in the first place and helps improve lung function. Flovent won't replace fast-acting inhalers for sudden attacks. People switching from an oral steroid like prednisone to Flovent, an inhaled steroid, need to be especially careful. While adjusting to the switch, your body is not as able to heal after surgery, infection, or serious injury. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve. Now this is control. Flovent. Helping you to find asthma control. Tonight, it's a grandmother versus foster parents. Eric calls me mom. He doesn't care what color my skin is. In a heated adoption case. Somebody's always trying to make race an issue. That white couple can't begin to understand what it means to have black skin in this country. Amy Brenneman and Tyne Daly in the number one new drama, Judging Amy CBS Tonight. Dick Van Dyke meets his exact double, a mob boss marked for murder. Somebody is trying to kill us. A special two-hour diagnosis movie, CBS Thursday. He's a dirty lawyer. He infects everything that he touches. And a deceitful lover. You slept with my daughter. Oh boy, you better watch out. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now. Your reign of terror can't last forever. Leave Ben to me. Guiding Light. Oh,